Thank you for taking time today to stop and pray. Our scripture today is from Psalm 83, verse 1. O oh God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O oh God. So I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in deeply, to let go, to breathe in, and to let go of all that, all that's on your mind, to breathe in and release it. And just say those words. Oh God, do not keep silence. 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 Do not hold your peace or be still, oh God. God, sometimes I have so many words to say to you. There are so many people on my list. There are so many elders right now that need our prayers for comfort and peace, for healing. There are families we know that have just experienced the death of a loved one. There are so many words I have right now. Many of my words are tied up in fear. Fear that the planet is dying and that we're not doing anything. Oh God, do not keep silent. Fear that the divisions we have in our country are so great that they're causing so much harm. Oh God, do not keep silence. The fear that the help that could come to us through our government to fix things like broken ridges and broken down roads lead and water pipes to fix those spots that we've let deteriorate and yet that's not a priority fifty two people are saying no 52. God, do not keep silent. God, there are so many words I have right now. Words about the loss and trauma that we're all experiencing. Words about the isolation and distance that we've put between ourselves and each other. God, do not keep silence. 
And yet that's the problem, right? That I spend so much time talking to you and at you that even if you were yelling right now, I might not hear it. Even if you have dropped down the answer to all of the questions that I have, I'm not still enough. I don't have enough peace within myself to experience your presence, your words. So God, show me how to keep silence. To be still. To have peace. Amen.